To start out, you're going to start with a square piece of paper, and you want to make sure that you have the white side facing up to begin with. You're going to fold it diagonally to make a triangle, and then you'll open it back up, and then you'll fold it diagonally again in the opposite direction to make a triangle again. You're then going to fold it in half to make a rectangle. Open it back up, and then you're going to fold it in half again to make another rectangle. And then crease. I added lines to where the creases are so that it's easier to see. Next, you're going to start to bring each corner into the middle. If you put your forefinger and thumb here on either side of the line, and your middle finger on the back right here, it's easiest to just bring it in like this, and then you bring it down here, and you fold this down, and it makes a perfect little square. Again, I drew lines on the creases so that it's easier to see. You're going to make sure that your flappy part is down facing your torso. You're going to take this corner and fold it into the middle. You're going to take the other corner and fold it into the middle. You're then going to flip it over and take this corner here and fold it into the middle. And take this corner and fold it into the middle. You should now have what looks like a kite. You're then going to bring this part down and crease it. I'm going to open this part up and bring this up. This is just the top flap. I'm going to bring it up and where the crease is right here, you're going to lay it flat against the triangle. And then bring it down and it'll fold in on itself to make a diamond. Now you flip it over and repeat. So you open this up, you bring this up to the crease. Once you have that, you want to make sure that the slit part is facing you, not this part. And you're going to you're going to fold into the center. You're going to repeat, and then flip it over. Make sure you still have the slit part. I'm going to fold it to the center, and repeat. And then you're going to take it in your hands, and if you put your forefinger here and here, and your thumbs here, and open it up, and you crease, and it kind of looks like an animal, it looks like these are the ears, and this is the face, and then you fold this part up, turn it over, and fold this part up, and then you're going to do this again, and it'll be flat, and you take this, and you pull down gently, and then you crease this part here, you take this side, and you pull it down gently, you crease. You decide which side you want the head to be on. You take it, you fold it down to make the beak, and then you take the wings, you fold it down so that you see the triangle, you crease it, and you repeat it on the other side, and crease it, and then there you have it, a beautiful paper crane.